Hey, hello, I'm back, and with me is a new project. So, after I released my Simple Soft Robotic Gripper a while back, I had a lot of people tell me things like, I don't have access to a 3D printer, or I don't want to mold silicone. Because of this, I've made another gripper. This video will be just an overview of it. But if you'd like to make one yourself, I should have an instructable guide for it linked below. This new one is bigger, doesn't use 3D printed parts, and doesn't use silicone parts. Of course, however, sacrifices have to be made, and as a result, the gripper is weaker and less reliable. More on that later. I also made a gripper out of common household materials, or at the very least, parts that you could get at your local hardware store. The body of the gripper is a large plastic bucket, the fingers are made of plastic electrical uh, tubing, and the tendons are made of nylon rope. Besides the tools, that's it. To summarize the building of it, start by drilling three holes in the triangular configuration on the bucket. Then cut the tubing into three, 12 inch long pieces, which should then be cut almost all the way through, but not all the way, at one inch intervals. If the tubing has been pre-cut down the middle, then hot glue the sides together. After that, cut out every other segment so it looks like this. Then, drill a small hole in the top segment and run two feet of the nylon rope through the tubing and into the hole. Connect the other end of the tubing to the holes on the bucket that we drilled earlier and hot glue it into place. After that, it's basically done. Looking back on how I built mine, I should have probably used more rigid tubing or at least added a backbone to the existing fingers as the fingers on mine are a bit floppy. Anyways, as I said, I will link the Instructables guide once I post it. So, let me know what you thought about this video by rating it or commenting, and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can see all the cool projects I put out. XYZ Aiden, out.